Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to meditate and this is essentially your meditation basics or your meditation 101. So before we actually move into the guided meditation, I'd like to share with you the say principles of mindfulness or meditation. There are three stages in a meditation. Now the first is that you are to choose the present moment. And in that first stage of choosing the present moment, you are utilizing the tool of an anchor. Now your anchor, it can be a number of things. It can be a mantra which is a short phrase. It can be the loop of your breath, whether you're manipulating the breath or just observing your natural breathings. It can be an element of sound, something like traffic or the ticking of a clock or even this white noise, heat or air conditioning that's blowing. Or you can use an anchor like scanning the body, different tools. So choosing the present moment, that is our first stage. The second stage in any meditation is that you're no longer choosing, right? You no longer have to choose the stillness. You no longer have to choose the anchor. In that second stage, you are just being and receiving the present moment or receiving your choice and all that it has to teach you. Perhaps you choose a mantra, I am here, I am breathing. In that receiving, you're being in the present moment. You are utilizing those three words to be in the present moment and take on its lessons, receive its teachings. Now for most of us, that second stage, if we're lucky, it lasts about three, five, maybe seven seconds. And then we find ourselves in the third stage. In the third stage of meditation or mindfulness, you'll find yourself in this fantasy land or wandering off and you are no longer in the present moment. This is when you're thinking about the past and how you could have handled a situation or a conversation, what you would have done. When you're in fantasy land, you might find yourself in the future. You're overwhelmed or overcome with anxiety and fear and worry because you're in the future. You're no longer in the present moment. When you realize that you are in that third stage, the loop begins again. So we have three stages. Once we find that we have come to that third stage, we begin the loop again. We choose the present moment, right? So that's our stage one. Once we choose the present moment, then we're in stage two, where we're being and receiving the present moment. I like to think of it as being cradled by the present moment. I find that very comforting. And then third stage is when we are in that fantasy-like state. So three stages, very simple, to comprehend, to digest, but not always easy. Whether you are advanced in your meditation practice or this is your first time diving into a meditation, three stages, and those three stages are so incredibly helpful when you make them tangible and you give them words, you give them names or elements, three stages, yes? Yeah? So the first is choosing the present moment. Second stage is being in it and receiving the present moment. And then our third stage is our fantasy land where most of us are living our lives. We're in that fantasy state. It's so rare that we're really in present moment. For me personally, I find that I am most often in present moment when I'm either meditating or I'm doing a yoga practice. Again, before we take on our meditation today, quick recap, three stages of your mindfulness. First is choosing the present moment with the tool of an anchor, something that you can audibly hear, words that you can repeat silently in your head, or listening to any one thing, scanning through the body, things of that nature, tools of that nature. Second stage is being and receiving the present moment. What can I learn here and how can I heal my relationship with the present moment? That's our question and the answer to that is I heal my relationship with present moment by being in it. That's one of the many gifts our meditation practice will give us. So second stage, being and receiving present moment, healing our relationship with the present moment. Third and final is that we're in that fantasy land. We're no longer in the body. We're no longer in the present moment. We've wandered off it's one direction or another. We're no longer here. 
So with that in mind today, I'd like to hold space for about a 10 minute meditation and you'll practice the loop. When I first started meditating with this, I became incredibly aware of my mind states and how quick I am to wander off and go to that third stage of fantasy land. There's no need to become frustrated or judgmental towards yourself. When you find you are in that third stage, it's incredibly simple and kind, you begin again. You choose the present moment, anchor into it with your tool of choice, and then you find your second stage. I'm being here, I'm receiving the presence and all that it has to teach me until I'm in that third stage, that fantasy land once more. So this is the tool that I'm sharing with you today, the loop of mindfulness or the loop of meditation and the three stages that encompasses. So if you'd like to try that out, then just keep watching. Before we begin the meditation, if you enjoy this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Right now, while I'm not teaching any in-studio public classes, I am uploading daily videos. So if you'd like to be notified when I do upload daily, there's a little notification bell that you can also click and that will let you know when I have a new video up on my channel. With that being said, let's get right into the meditation. So first you are to find a comfortable place where you can relax. For some of you, that's going to be seated upright and for others, that's reclined on the back body. In the posture that you choose, you feel comfortable closing your eyes. You feel confident that you can be still for the next few minutes. If there's anything that feels especially distracting to you right now, things like watches or jewelry, hair ties, and glasses on your face, make those few extra efforts and set those things to the right or left side of your space. And you become heavy in the sitting bones and the legs. Feel an energetic lift, this quality of openness, lightness in your heart. And I'd like you to allow a wave of patience to take over the body, to take over the mind. Patience with yourself. Patience for your meditation. And just start to notice the breath. Now, just start to notice the breath. Flowing in through the nose and out through the nose. And right now we're in the first stage. Choosing the breath, choosing the anchor. And from this tool, this anchor of the natural breathings, something that is always there. Choosing to focus on the breath as it flows sweetly through the nostrils down to your navel. Navel back up to your nostrils. Choosing the breath. Choosing the breath. As you develop the relationship with your breath, 
eventually you will find that you no longer have to choose it. The mind will settle and dwell on the breath. You're aware that you're aware. You follow how long it is until your mind seeks something else. And then you are in the third stage. Fantasy land in one direction or another. And there's no judgment. There is no wrong or right. It's just what is. And with patience, you begin again. You begin to guide yourself again. Anchor your mind in your breath. Follow the intricacy of your inhale. And the quality of your exhale. Choose the breath. and just receive it. Receive the inhale without changing it or reacting to it. And allow the exhale to soften. And how long can you linger in the second stage? You train your mind patiently. until you wander off into the third stage of mindfulness. And you find that you are no longer here. You are no longer listening, receiving, or learning from the present moment. So you guide yourself back. You begin again. Choose the breath. The loop up and down the center column of the physical body. How does it move? How does it weave from the nostrils to the navel? The navel to the nostrils. Once you feel comfortable and confident with the choice of your breath, you patiently move into the second stage, just being with the breath, not craving more or seeking less. The simplicity of breathing. until you find yourself in third stage mentality. I'm thinking of this or I'm thinking of that. With patience, you begin to guide yourself again. Choose the breath. Be with the breath. Until the mind wanders off. And now I begin to guide myself. Choose the breath. Become so incredibly aware of it. And then just be with it. Receive your inhalation. And let go of your exhalation. Receive your inhalation 
Let go of your exhalation. Receive your inhalation. Let go of your exhalation. Until you find that you have wandered off. And without clinging, where does the mind go and what does it seek? Is it helpful or hindering to your meditation? Wherever the mind wanders is hardly your priority. Just become aware of it and then begin again. Circling back to the first stage of choosing the breath. Choosing the breath. Receiving the breath. Being with the breath. Be patient, be kind, be patient, be kind. One more time, we begin the loop, choosing the breath, choosing the present moment. And then moving on to simply receiving it. Surrounded, cradled by your present moment. Safe, stable, here, nowhere else to be but here. Now, if you would like more time in your meditation, please stay for as long or as little as you'd like. Your time, your precious time. To those of you that are ready to be guided out, take a deeper breath in with patience and follow a longer breath out completely connected to the breath. Again, together, deepen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Let a gentle internal smile take over. As you awaken through 10 fingers and 10 toes, Feel into the neck and the weight of your head, tuning into the framework of your physical body as you take a full body stretch in any which way. If you're reclined joining me upright, please be gentle. There is no rush. Soft on your gaze, if not eyes closed, trusting as you stay connected to the world that's inside of you. 
as you feel into this calm state, this calm state that was always there, you're just returning to it. You've come home. Now to share the vibration of our personal efforts and intentions. Let's cleanse the exhale. Take your time as you breathe in deeply to your belly. Open mouth. Let your hands collect at your heart. There's delicate pressure at the finger pads. At this time, we acknowledge what is perhaps the most ancient intention of our meditation, of our practice, rooted in the teachings of metta, of loving kindness. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. And my hope for you is that your meditation is continuous, your heart steady, and your mind calm. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close this practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a little something new and that you can take away this loop of mindfulness, the foundation of any meditation practice, anchoring, receiving, until again we wander off. Three stages, it's incredibly beneficial for training the mind and anchoring at any given time into your present moment, keeping you in the body, keeping you in the here and now. That's all that I have for you today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.